What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at a production knife, a new production knife from Boker. And it is a collaboration with custom knife maker Les Voorhees. This is the Model 13, produced in the uh, Solingen factor, factory. Uh, so I guess a German German uh, produced knife from Boker. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the specs real quick. So obviously we have a titanium liner lock flipper here with a three and an eighth inch blade of CPM 154. And you can see it's got that really beautiful modified drop point with a very heavy stone wash. And you can see Boker's, uh, that's the <clears throat> symbol for their Germany factory. There's Les Voorhees maker's mark on the other side, and then it's serial numbered as well. Um, I really, really dig the blade shape on this one. Um, besides being very useful, I think it just looks really nice. Uh, as far as the edge goes, this is the best edge on a knife I've gotten from Boker. I don't know that I've owned many of the knives that they produce at this factory. So I can't speak to um, if that's normal or not, but um, I've had plenty of their knives that are produced in, uh, I guess they're China or wherever, um, and this is a much superior edge to that one. And you can see it's pretty thick blade stock too. Uh, this whole knife is a fairly thick package, so let's go ahead. The handles are um, four and a quarter inch long, so that gives us uh, about 7.3 uh, inches overall um, and like I said it's titanium liner lock there's your lock up the lock up is a little bit later than it came um, from the factory because I bent the uh, I bent the lock in a little bit to give it a little bit of a stronger detent the detent was a little bit soft for my preferences um, so I went ahead and uh, like I said change that so we have titanium liners here with green canvas micarta overlays um, which are fairly thick themselves so this this knife is definitely not a skinny knife by any means um, so you can see the decorative pivot um, it does run on uh, caged ball bearings like just about every single flipper made nowadays um, so the action is nice and smooth, nice and fast. The detent's a little bit late, but still, you know, for a production knife, um, definitely uh, well done on the action. It wasn't quite as snappy as that out of the box, but uh, it was still nice and smooth. Uh, ergonomically, this is exceedingly comfortable. Um, uh, that's the one thing that a thick knife generally will have over a thinner knife is that it's pretty comfortable to hold, you know, it fills out your hand. Um, there is a little bit of a weird feeling down here. It almost feels like your hands are coming off of the knife um, because of the way that the uh, canvas micarta scale kind of terminates there, which looks nice, but um, it just feels like there's not as much handle as there is. Um, but still very comfortable to hold. Uh, we'll see the fit and finish here. The centering is a little bit off. But not much, maybe, I don't know, eighth of an inch off to the side, a few millimeters. Um, Lockup, extremely solid. There is, I mean, you can crank on this thing and you're not even going to get any blade flex just because of how thick everything is. So for a user, like if, if you really wanted a, a heavy user knife, this would definitely um, fulfill that need. Uh, with the between the thick blade stock and the fact that this thing I mean you could probably cut wood with this fucking thing and it's not gonna 
you know, it's not going to move it. I'm going to give you a look at the pivot. The pivot is actually uh, pretty cool here. Uh, it's got that stepped design. So a little bit of a decorative uh, addition there. The flipper tab, uh, no jimping, but it's shaped perfectly for, uh, and it, I like how, you know, it's high enough up. Um, so it makes flipping easy. Construction there, you can see it's got that little mini backspacer, but for the most part it's flow through. I do like that. I like the uh, kind of a mini backspacer. So you're not getting the thing, you know, it doesn't take up the whole thing, but uh, you still get a backspacer. Uh, no lanyard hole here if you're a lanyard guy. So tough luck. What are you putting lanyards on your pocket knives for anyway? Um, the pocket clip. I do really like the pocket clip. Um, I am a fan of deeper carry and this is very deep. Super easy to go in and out of the pocket. And they obviously milled that a little bit here for looks. As far as um, the design, really well done. Uh, I've reviewed a Les Voorhees knife on this channel before, uh, one of his customs, and uh, I wasn't a fan to say the least. I like the design, that's why I bought the knife, but the production of it was left a lot to be desired. There was a lot of blade play and uh, it was just kind of like a flimsy knife, but this thing is the opposite of that. It still has that same design aesthetic that Les uh, puts into his knives, but it's built extremely solidly. This thing isn't gonna, this thing isn't gonna fall apart. So, kudos to Boker for putting out some pretty cool stuff. Um, they also did a um, another new knife with uh, Brad Zinker. So they got like a lineup of new stuff coming out. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I can really say. A, a few things, I guess. Um, like I said, I had to bend the uh, the lock bar in because it wasn't super strong, but that may vary. Your mileage may vary there. Um, it does look nice the way that the uh, scale terminates here, but it doesn't feel super great. Um, they could probably use a little bit of traction here on the back. I mean, the finger choil does a good enough job of locking it in, but if you really want the leverage forward, um, jimping would have been nice. You can see there it's got a uh, hidden stop pin, so... Oh, no it doesn't. I lied. Um, yeah, so I, those are a couple things I would change. Um, you know, fit and finish isn't 100% perfect, but it's close. And uh, the, pro oh, I'm sorry, the weight. Uh, this is a, a little bit of a heftier knife. It's 3.7 ounces. So you're still under the four ounce mark, um, but you're getting up there. You're getting close to it. What else? Uh, $180, these go for uh, street. I don't know what the MSRP is, but I got this one from, um, I think Blade HQ for $180, so. Comparatively, you could spend $180 on a Kaiser Ursa Minor and have one of the highest touted flippers um, that I can remember in the past couple of years anyway. So, you know, it's preference. Do you like the kind of rustic look of this knife or would you rather spend it on a, a Kaiser that's kind of plain um, but you're probably getting a little bit better functionality for your money. Alright guys, that wraps this up. Um, like I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to have to put out the uh, next giveaway either later today or tomorrow. I have the day off tomorrow, so maybe I'll do it then. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video, guys.